Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we could discuss a chef's deadly revenge. So in this movie, we have, of course, a chef, and she's noticing some weird things that are starting to happen around her. Like, And this really sets off a lot of internal alarms because she's dealt with a stalker before. So she's seeing some th weird things happening and like her mind is already putting this puzzle together that there's a new stalker. And her friend kind of tries to talk her down off the ledge a little bit saying like, hey, you know, this has happened to you in the past, but you know, you're famous, you're, you know, you're out there, you've got cameras all over your house. Cause she's like a celebrity chef. I should, I guess I should mention that. You know, but you've got cameras, you've got secure, you know, you're, you know, you've got proper security measures. So she kind of like just tries to push on and continue with what she's doing. Only, you know, strange things continue to happen. And she starts to feel like she's almost being like gaslit by everybody else because she's seeing these red flags and, you know, other people either don't see them or like, you know, downplay them. And that's kind of the story of a chef's deadly revenge. So I like this movie. I thought it was really solid. I thought it was well made. I think it has really good tension. It has a lot of suspense. The only issue for me is that it took a little while to get going for me. Like I was kind of, I wasn't checked out, but it, at the beginning I was, it was kind of slow to, to hook me in, but it's more of like a slow burn. So like as the movie goes, it's like you get more and more drawn into it. And there's not a lot of melodrama here or over the top stuff. So if you're looking for like, you know, really unhinged psychos or, you know, high level melodrama, that's not here. This is more of like a serious thriller. But it works. I mean, I think in the in the lifetime realm, I tend to skew toward the, the crazier stuff. But this was really well made and effective, and I, I would definitely recommend it. I thought the cast was good. I thought the pacing was good. I thought it, the production values were great. It's not like the world's most memorable thriller or one that I'm probably going to go back to, but I thought it was well made. And, you know, not a lot of these serious, more grounded Lifetime thrillers kind of reel me in, but this one did. So I definitely give it a recommendation if you're a fan of Lifetime thrillers. And even if you typically don't go toward the more serious ones, I think this one is is a cut above the usual from Lifetime in this area. So that's my review for A Chef's Deadly Revenge. If you want to check out more, go right here on YouTube. There are hundreds and hundreds of movie reviews in my movie review playlist. But until then, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this. I do greatly appreciate it.